Hello and welcome back to Scale Me Down. Remember to like and subscribe to support our channel. In this episode, we have an exciting collaboration with Andy RC and I'll put a link to his channel up here. We're working on a project for his FMS Pit Special that he flies in first person view. So let's get started. Andy visited our stall at Western Park for a 3D scan. We scanned him with both our low resolution and high resolution scanners and this is his raw data. There's always bits missing and distortions to clean up so we're going to use data from both scans to fill in the missing areas. Here I'm using MeshLab to align the two scans using features on the geometry. Let's now delete away the overlapping areas of each mesh choosing the best data. Next, I'll add the hat that he wanted. And now it's back to MeshLab to resample and resurface the mesh to make it manifold and watertight. You can see that there's still quite a few artifacts to clean up, and we'll use the sculpture tools in Mesh Mixer for this. This is a bit like sculpting in clay, but you don't get your hands dirty. Here I've scaled and hollowed out the model and I'm cutting it on a flat plane to fit the printer bed. Then it's over to the slicing software to prepare our file for the printer. Ordinarily we'd use one of our FDM printers for this job, but as his aircraft is quite small we're going to use our Anycubic Photon. It cures a photosensitive resin using an ultraviolet lamp through an LCD mask layer by layer. This process is quite slow and this print took 10 hours. Once finished, the print is washed in methylated spirits to remove any uncured resin. The curing process is then finished by putting it out in the sunshine. Here we have Andy's printed pilot bust and it's printed to the sizes that he specified so that it fits his model aeroplane. Now let's go to the workshop and put some paint on it. I've primed the model with white primer and I've applied this masking tape around his collar to protect his jumper and that will make painting the clothing much easier later. We're going to use this Iwata Eclipse airbrush for the job and I'll put a link here for a detailed video that we made on just how to paint pilot figures. But before we get started, I'd like to introduce our first secret weapon. The first tool in our arsenal is this simple mask that I've made from a piece of white copy paper and I've cut a small square hole in it. So I've got this photograph printed and then we can use the co copy paper mask like this to isolate the colours on the photograph. Then we can mix up paint and test it to the side. As you can see we need quite a bit more red in here yet. First I'm going to do a pre-shade from underneath using this maroon colour from Tamiya called Hull Red. Now we can apply the skin tone we just mixed up in several very thin passes. The aim here is to make each layer thin enough to be translucent. I use these Tamiya acrylic paints as they're easy to use and they dry quickly. However I need subtle adjustment of the tones so for that I need to apply it very thinly. So I add this X20A thinners. However, once I've thinned to 50-50, we can't get any more translucent without adding secret weapon number two. And that is this XF86 Flat Clear, which is paint with no pigment added. Here we have the bust with the paint all finished, the tones subtly adjusted and details added with both the airbrush and the paintbrush. And finally, let's make some glasses from some clear plastic packaging. 
That's him, all done. We'll get him parceled up and posted out to you, Andy. I hope you like him, and I can't wait to see him installed in your project. Check out this project over at Andy RC, and we'll see you here next time at Scale Me Down. Thanks for watching.